Uh, Lynn Herr is the director and clinical outreach di divisions for the Vanderbilt County Health Department Pre to Three program. She is here with Pre to Three intake counselor Carissa Schutz. So it's good to see you girls again. This has been a fun journey for me to share your story uh, throughout the past few months. What's going on with Pre to Three? Well, we're we're very excited that you've had us, you know, on a weekly kind of basis, or to to get back here and to tell everybody uh, what's going on. So the program is going well. Uh, we have had about 80 families uh, involved in our program since the uh, initiation of it uh, back in March. So we're very excited. Uh, the big test will be, will be is if we see a, a drop in infant mortality across Vanderburg County uh, in response to the program. And that was one of the things, that was the, the top priority, wasn't it, to make sure that we can cause that rate to drop. Well, how, how bad is it? Well, just like we've kind of said in the past, uh, we've had uh, kind of a consistent rate, has been as high as 11.3, but in the last seven years, last several years, we've been down here closer to seven, uh, up as high as nine, which it really kind of reflects to, you know, 14 to 18 babies die before their first birthday in Vandenberg County. So the whole purpose of this that's program is to drop that rate, and that's why we were given this large grant to impact our infant mortality in Vandenberg County. Well, it will be interesting and I think uh, encouraging to see what the stats are. Carissa, you do the intake. What is that program like and what are your goals? So the intake is the first time we meet with the family to kind of talk about the program and start getting information from them that we do track. So that goes from breastfeeding, um, like if they plan to breastfeed or if they are breastfeeding. It's um, if they're up to date on immunizations, if their child is. It's are they making their doctor's appointments? Um, do they have a primary care provider for their baby? Do they have a dentist for their baby? Has the mom been to the dentist? Because all of those things play a big role in the overall health of the baby and of the mother. Well, and if, if they need those kind of medical services, are they also eligible in the health department to receive treatment for medical issues and dental issues? So we do some of those things. So we have an immunization clinic. So if a mom needs an immunization or a child, they can come to the health department and get that there. We also have WIC in our building. So if a mom is eligible for WIC or the child is eligible for WIC, they can enroll there and get benefits right in the health so department So it's kind of a well. one-stop event, which is a good thing for families, especially oh, yeah. for little kids. How do you measure the outcomes that you are looking for? So we do the intake and then we also track some things on a quarterly basis. So we ask the family every quarter very similar questions to see if the program is making a difference. And that could be things like breastfeeding. It could be if their education level has changed, if they've gone back to school, if they've gotten a job since they've been enrolled in the program, um, and different measures like that so that we're looking at different risk factors that are associated with infant mortality while also looking at infant mortality as a whole. And then that's a big picture all the way around and as we've been following this and listening to stories and meeting some of the young families and yeah. talking to them, it's been really uh, touching to me to see them go, I did, I did, this is what I didn't know about myself as a parent. Yes, yeah it is and, and you're empowering those that's a great parents, way to put it, yes. To provide the best outcomes for their, for their children. And so often have you found that they didn't maybe have the best home life themselves, so they didn't have the modeled skills. Right, and so we're, we're kind of putting back that resilience back into the families so that we have great outcomes, not only for that child, but for their families as, the, as they go through life. To start a new path yes, of healing yes. and, and wellness. For the viewers out there who have a loved one or someone they think would like to be a part of this program, how do they do that, Lynn? Uh, go ahead. So they can text family to 99888 and then somebody within the program will get back to them with more information, see if they want to enroll. They can also call the health department um, and get more information that way. And our website as well. And you, you start before you have baby too. Yeah, ideally the the going better. into the program, we'd love to see people prenatally. That way we can just start from the beginning. And first trimester. First trimester. Okay, well, these ladies are going to walk you through it and get you into mamahood, daddyhood a lot healthier. Thank you both so much for what you do. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. And we'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Final check of the weather.